Looking to see Robin vs. Kirby. Yeah, yeah, that's the matchup here. We got the fist bump, and we're going into game one. Game one on what looks to be town and yeah, town and city. I like the stage pick. It's a nice, it's actually a very nice neutral stage pick for this matchup. You see, uh, Ruby's patented, uh, Neron the Shield. He hits me with that Neron Shield, and I, I really, honestly, sometimes he spaces it so well I don't know what to do. And up B, using the projectile. Now he's got, uh, now he's got Brady's power. Got the Thunders. I don't know too terribly much what Kirby can do with, uh, with Thunder. I, I don't actually go against enough Robins to know myself, although I play Kirby. But I can tell you that usually Kirby uh, is pretty dangerous with someone else's power, especially a power as useful and versatile as Robin's Thunder. But Brady gonna show some excellent spacing um, here, just, just really not allowing Ruby in, keeping him out, racking up the percent. He's at 89. Ruby is at 89. Ooh, Thoron gonna miss, but uh, I don't really know. I don't really know if he expected Ruby, um, expected Brady to land or not. Up tilt in the up air. Ooh, gonna catch him with the. And you have to remember, um, Ruby's uh, thunders are gonna be a little bit more effective because Kirby actually slightly boosts the power of the copy of abilities. Gonna find the back air, and he doesn't need a boost in power to take that first stock with a well placed back air. Gonna trade even with uh, Levin Sword. But forward throw into forward air, into back air. Nice patent Kirby, Ruby Kirby combos. Gonna find, not gonna find the stronger hit up down air. I think he actually fell out before he got that stronger hit, but the forward air, gonna, gonna even up the stocks. Brady looking to, um, take back some of this game at 71%. Ooh, arc fire on ledge. Not gonna lead, I'm, just, I'm very surprised that didn't lead to anything, but it did lead to an SD. Brady, Brady just kinda, man, oh! And right there, you see uh, one of my, well, I mean, it's not my trick per se, but a, a trick that I like to use. Um, forward, uh, forward throw will actually lead into down air um, on some characters and be true off the ledge like that. And you can sometimes keep a down air going for two or three uh, repeats, but Brady dominating the second stock to bring it back uh, well within his grasp. 38% is nothing. It's one Robin combo. But uh, ooh, Ruby, Ruby gonna find the, uh, the inhale. Now he's got uh, Robin's power. He's got Brady above him. Oh no! Okay, gonna make it back. No challenge from Ruby Green. I'm surprised. That would have been where I would have been swinging. Okay, Thoron charge from Ruby Groovy. Brady gonna avoid it. You shall not, Kamehameha me. Excellent spacing with the B reverse from Ruby Groovy. Ruby Groovy playing really well. Brady trying to um trying to come back, but Ruby just not allowing him. Getting scared at the ledge was possibly a really bad thing to do, but it didn't lead to anything for Ruby. Brady slowly but surely trying to bring it back. Looks like he's out of thunder. He's got half of his charge on the fire. Gets his thunder back. And gonna take a not gonna take a Thoron for the kill. I really thought that was going to kill, especially with Kirby's boost. Ooh, your energy is mine! Getting the Nosferatu. Try, he's, he's really hanging in here. But Nair out of shield. So dangerous, says Kirby. So dangerous. Gonna go ahead and take the stock. As the three cutest heck Kirby's come out. And do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Uh, if I was, uh... If I was, if I was Brady, I'd probably be looking to go to a stage like Kalos or a stage like Pokemon Stadium 2. Because I want space. I want space against this little puffball. I need to be able to run away. But looks like Small Battlefield is actually going to be the pick. I'm wondering if he's switching character, maybe? Because this looks like a worser stage for Robin. No, going Robin, okay. That's that's a really interesting
pick for Rob. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see. Um, getting into game two. Bray, Bray's just uh, giving up the stage control. He's not really vying for the stage. Maybe he thinks he can't keep it versus Kirby. So he's just opting to go off the side. We're gonna get inhaled. Ruby's been chasing him down to get this power. He's been really hanging on to this thunder. He wants thunder so much. Arc fire. Gonna build the wall. And uh, not finishing his jab combo, surprisingly. I'm not really sure if um, the frustration. I know I talked to Brady before um, the tournament actually, and I know he has some frustration with Kirby. So maybe this is the uh, the, the the mentioned frustration, which is kind of kind of just getting dominated on every turn, every landing, every every choice is just being exploited by Ruby Ruby. Right now. Really dominant. Play. Gonna get the forward throw, forward air. Ooh, gonna duck! And there we see the small size of Kirby coming in. Gonna duck under the arc fire. Fun fact, um, in this game, arc fire has, I think, 66 uh, frames uh, before it is first actionable. So you can't move for a, almost an entire second after throwing out arc fire. And uh, Ruby Groovy ducking under that really left Brady uh, kind of exposed. I want it, what I want to see from Brady a lot more is I want to see him capitalizing on the ledge trapping phase because that's where his strength is going to be having the disjoint and the Levin Sword Nosferatu gonna miss into the down smash. Ruby is running away with this game. Levin Nair getting him off stage. Brady, ooh, Brady going deep. Okay, now Ruby Groovy does not have invincibility recatching the ledge, but Brady still can't quite find the punish. He needs to get this stock. <laughs> He's gonna use up all the arc fires. He wants the book more so than he wants the fire. Gonna find it, get Ruby Groovy off stage again. Ooh, going for a Nosferatu. On the ledge, but that time. Not go okay, I thought that time the downer was going to kill. That time, uh Brady able to come back. Brady is fighting. Brady really wants he wants to take a stock at least. He wants to make this close. Okay. Okay, there it is! The far the the arc fire into the forward air. Could this be the start of a comeback? Is Brady HD entering Ultra Instinct? Migate no Kukui? Maybe? 35%. Keeping Kirby out. Kirby can't get in. Loses the Levin Sword. Not very many charges left on Arc Fire. Gonna catch it immediately. No Thunder. No Arc Fire. Thunder comes back in just the nick of time. Running low on L Wind. You can tell Brady HD is dialed in. He is not letting Kirby through with any more hitboxes. But the grab's gonna come through. Down throw. Getting him off stage. Ruby just gonna play this nice and patient. Whiffing the forward smash into Jab. Jab not gonna be able to take the game. Oh, and now Brady HD has to be really careful as he's lost his L wind. Gonna get it back though. Not gonna get exploited for not having his recovery tool. Nice drift back Levin Nair onto Kirby's shield. Brady is playing, he's playing considerably well. Oh, but that art fire gonna miss. And the, the, the Nair, yet again, gonna take the game. Very, very dominant play from Ruby Groovy.